Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here today. Come on up and sit on Grammy's quilt. Today we're going to talk about God's amazing gorilla. Mm. And a, we're going to speak of a special gorilla. Her name is Coco. Coco was born in San Francisco Zoo in 1971, July 4th. And Coco had some health problems. And when she was about three months old, Dr. Francine Penny Patterson uh, communicated with the zoo and wanted to know if she could keep her because she would like to teach her sign language. So that happened through a course of events. And Coco went to live with Dr. Penny Patterson in Woodside, California. Um, the experiment was very successful. Coco ended up learning over a thousand sign languages. Now, sign language is a way to communicate something to another person without using your mouth. That's very interesting. And so Coco learned over a thousand of these moves and uh, manipulations with her hands so that she could speak to Dr. Penny Patterson. She also learned over 2,000 word recognitions where Penny would say something to her and she would recognize exactly and respond. Coco had one want, and that was she wanted a kitten. So after some research, they did end up getting her a kitten. And I think we'll see a video clip of her actually picking out the kitten that she wanted. So she remembers. Coco knows. She, she picked the one I think you did. Sweet. Sweet. Like Coco wanted this gray kitten, and she named this kitten All Ball. All Ball. <laughs> so Coco was pretty fantastic about that. I brought a coloring sheet today with me. It's called God Made Coco the Gorilla. And you can see this large frame of this gorilla. Coco actually weighed 280 pounds. The face of the gorilla is kind of pressed in and large shoulders with very long front arms shorter back legs. Spends a lot of time on their back legs at doing an upright position. But this is a picture of Coco. And God made Coco. <laughs> Coco was a female western lowland gorilla. And she died at 46 years old, which was kind of a natural death for a gorilla. They live somewhere between 40 and 45 years in the wild and in captivity somewhere around 45 to 50 years of age. So she died a natural death. But Coco was a very loving, very gentle gorilla and raised with Dr. Penny and was very, very an interesting experience. Um, Coco met... Robin Williams and Mr. Rogers, both in person, had two really sweet encounters with them. How many of you know uh, sign language? Anybody? Again, this is us communicating with someone else without using our mouth. So today I'm going to teach you two ways to say, I love you. So I'm going to put my hand up. You make kind of a ball with your hand with your thumb across your fingers and then 
I love you. That's how you do it. That's one way. Let's do it again. So your little pinky goes up. The next two fingers stay down. And then your pointer finger goes up. And then your thumb out. I love you. The other way we're going to learn, which is just as accurate, is I, two fists, love you. So I'll do that quicker. I love you. So now you know two ways to say I love you. Say I love you to your mom and dad that way tonight. It will surprise them. I hope you really enjoyed this with speaking about Coco today and him, his great love for kittens. Let's just pray and thank God for the amazing gorilla, the amazing intellect that this gorilla had. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you for the gorilla Coco and what an amazing animal that gorilla was. Thank you, Lord, for all that she learned and taught us about gorillas and teaching them. I thank you, Lord, for every child here today. Bless them, Lord, and I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope to see you next week. Thanks so much for coming. Bye.